Vans and Power Racing trying to get through. It is a mess of cars back here, Patrick. It's pretty intense right now. Poor Act of the Future is uh, caught behind all hands active there. Meanwhile, Phantom is trying to make up the difference. Trying to gain on Nimby Ferrari, but right now Nimby is trying to put as best lap times down as they possibly can. Uh-oh, the atomic TV cut's got a problem there. Just at the start finish line. That looks like a caution if I've seen one. Caution flag is out yet again. Yeah, multiple incidents with Timmy Nikaban and all hands active. Flipping over. We have Lee coming out. All sorts of problems with all sorts of cars. Patrick, there are broken cars everywhere in the pits right now. We have Mini Monsters extended stay in the pits. It looks like Inventicard might be out of juice for today, out of batteries. Out of batteries again. But they at least got their test in. Chris Easy, Dini Miku Van is still on the infield. I'm not sure what's up with them. They've been so busy, I haven't been able to get an interview flag. It looks like Cartastrophe has launched their Moxie car, their Pinata car. It needs to keep moving, though. Oh, they're throwing out, they're throwing out play balls, trying to create some, I guess, obstacles for the racers. Oh yeah, it looks like they're trying to trick the leaders. Oh, oh, that is a flat oh, tire. Comic Chibi, Comic Chibi's got a flat tire. All the way at the wrong part of the track, he's got to make it all the way around. Looks like MIT is really busy in the pits right now. Unfortunate for the Department of Silly Go Karts, that flat is going to put all of their team on the full effort. Both of their cars are in trouble right now. Just bad timing and bad luck, I suppose, in this case. Right now, Nimby, Ferrari, and Phantom are the two teams to look out for, while Cartastrophe is waiting for one of them to make a mistake. Their top three right now is pretty close. But right now, interesting mess in the pits right now. It's just, let's see what's going on with the Department of Silly Go-Karts. MIT having problems, but so is all hands active. But Mindy Boy, Phantom, Cartastrophe, Hats to the Future, and I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those cars have been doing great all day. Right now, they're, they're trying to figure out how to get Chidi Miku Van back into the pits so they can work on it. Patrick, I'm here in the pits right now with Atomic Chibi. They're making a tire change as they got the flat on the front straight away. It is panic right now in the Chibi pits. Paul Moda says Rex needs a win here, but she's stuck down in sixth place. And Chidi Miku Van is entering the pits right now, ladies and gentlemen. Another problem for MIT. MIT just cannot build a reliable car. <laughs> Patrick is absolutely madness right now. Chucking tires everywhere, trying to switch multiple tires at the same time from both cars. It's incredible that they're able to keep going under this pressure. But right now they're doing a fantastic job of getting what they can. Yeah, they the the can they know we're on the back stretch. It looks like the projectiles were stuffed to animals. Teddy bears out on the track. They're oh, on the track oh, oh, now, and not just the power wheels. And it looks like Motor Rex has got the dinosaur! What an amazing catch! Yes, Motor Source Rex picked up the dinosaur and he's giving it to the crowd! There's a free dinosaur for a young fan out there. Welcome to Power Racing, ladies and gentlemen. If you just join us, we have stuffed animals, broken cars, pop tires, tiny hot rods racing against tiny vans. Looks like I just got an elf here. Who wants an elephant? Who wants an elephant? Oh, there's more balls out on the track. Oh no, Fubar yet again. Oh, did I hear another fire pop? Oh, that is not looking good. Who's fire pop? I heard a bad tire is gone. Caution is out. Huh? 
Head to the Future Blue Attire. Oh no. Boy, did I wish they had a time machine for this. Or at least one that works. Right now, Hack to the Future is back off of the track. That is a big, big disappointment for them. And that is a big advantage for everyone else behind them, I3 in Detroit included. This is an opportunity for I3 to make up laps to gain the positions they lost earlier in the race. Driver change in seven minutes. Seven minutes to driver change. Halfway through this spin period. We're about halfway through this race right now. Let's give a breakdown of what's happened so far. An early battle with Chidi Nikovan and Hindi Ferrari resulted in a little bit of an overcooking with that lovely van in back. And they've had multiple problems since then. Quite the assortment, but every time the RIT Department of Silly Go-Karts has fought as hard as they could to get their car back on the track. And they've done a tremendous job so far. They do have faced every single obstacle you could possibly throw at a team with tires going out. I know one person who's happy they're in the pits, and that's Lord of Rex, because she needs every single one of those people in front of her to fall flat on her face if she wants to win the championship. So does I3 Detroit. They are gaining now on Hack to the Future, their nearest competitor, because Hack to the Future's tire change. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, Hack to the Future, an incredibly quick tire change for them. That was about a minute. Marty McFly back on the track, not disappointing Doc Brown at all. When that power wheel hits 8.8 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious stuff. stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, I3 Detroit is seeing a lot of serious potential spaces. They're already up to fourth place right now and hunting down Grady Lake Garage Car Catastrophe, which is in third place. Second place, Phantom Power Racing, and Nimby Ferrari has stayed out of the trouble the entire race. I3 trying as they might, they really want a medal for today. They are in fourth place, but they're gonna make up a lot of time on Cartastrophe. What's really impressive, Patrick, if Ferrari, Nimby Ferrari can hold them off, it will be the fifth different winner we've had this weekend. Nobody is exactly on top. The pendulum has swayed back and forth constantly. And I3 Detroit is trying to make it sway even further into their advantage as I3 Detroit has climbed themselves back. They are trying to get back up. They're now in fourth place and fighting for a podium finish. Audrey's talking to her Lotusaurus Rex on the front of that. She's goading it to go faster. I think she's getting ready for a battery change. I'm going to head to our leader's pit to see what's going on with them so far. Meanwhile, many monsters, are, their, their driver seems to have changed genders. All right, so I'm here with Mindy Ferrari, the leading team. It looks like you've been able to stay out of trouble. Sarah, this is your uh, first race since 2009. You are 2009 champion racing for the leading team, Mindy Ferrari. How is it going out there? It's going really, really well. We've got a really reliable and fast car. It feels awesome. Do you think you'll be able to make it to the end at this point? Oh, for sure. You're going to walk in that first win in, like, six years? Yeah, that's right. I'm coming back for the win. That's right. Sarah Sutherland, who's been with us for many years, the first season of the Power Racing Series, she was the first champion. And now she's come back to claim her throne. Lucky 13 back out again. Lucky 13 hasn't been doing so well either. They're in eighth place. In fact, it's the Lee from Ann, Ar or Ann Arbor who's been doing the better of them all. On the back end, there's going to be a very loud boom in a couple of seconds here. I want everyone to make sure they cover the rules. Oh yeah, here we go with that. Over next to us. Three minutes. Oh, that was a big one. Three minutes to drive the change. Three minutes to drive the change. Ah, uh, that must be for someone's happy birthday. Someone has a birthday out there, I guess. But right now, the team that's having the best bet right now is Nindy Ferrari. Oh, and we have a uh, caution or something. Oh, were they able to clear it through? And we're uh -huh. away. He flagged. They managed to clean it up faster than we could react.
but they managed to get back underway. Let's take a look at the rest of the field right now. I'm looking at the uh, Batmobile number 412. They've been fighting their way through the field. It's been up and down for them. But right now, they are in a solid ninth place, right behind Lucky 13, their nearest competitor, who is right now riding on the front straightaway with a lot of camber on the front wheel. And a bit of towing. More than I think they designed. Yeah, that, guy, that wheel is going to fall. Oh, Lucky 13 into the wall. Oh. Uh, running out of luck again. They might need to Oh, they, I3 got collected too because of it. They didn't fall down for a caution. I3 did not slow down during a caution. Oh, I3. I3, that's a penalty there from the Grim Reaper. You know what to do when you hear a caution, and that slow down, and then you ended up in a tire wall. It's really unfortunate for I3. A couple of mistakes are now costing them positions. Got to, we got to reassemble that tire wall now, because you decided to go inside it. Don't do that. Seemed like there was no room there. I3, we're going to have to see you in the center of the track. We're in a green flag here, and I3 gets to pull in. Meanwhile, Atomic Shibi getting a little too aggressive of the wall themselves. Where is the Grim right now? He, he has himself his cut out for him. I don't know what the penalty he's uh, dishing out. But we got one minute for driver change. One minute for driver change. And the drivers have a mandatory driver change every 15 minutes. They have to change drivers or change costumes, because if you look them to me, you're a different person. This is the Power Racing Series brought to you by Liquid Wrench. We take these drivers and make them bigger, faster, stronger, so it's better than before. But for this $500, we turn these things into lean, lean racing machines. Just 36 volts. 1,400 watts. These things become the most greatest things that you can see in a mega pair. For the same price of a new power wheel, you can make a better power wheel and race it yourself, not just your kids. This is a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and you can make yourself the greatest thing you've ever got. Ten seconds of driver change now. Every single one of them has got to pull into the pits and change drivers. I notice that when I stand near the track, I just get high five. That's uh, Mandatory driver change, mandatory driver change. All right, so the third driver change of the endurance race. And right now, Nimby Ferrari, your leaders. Hack PGH making a battery change right now. Hack PGH battery change. Oh, Nimby Ferrari just making a driver change. They're going to go and see some power racing. The battery change for Hack PGH is going to start costing them. Nimby and for Phantom, one and two, both the quickest in and out of the pits. If you can direct your attention over here, fans, it is quite busy right now. It looks like Fubar Labs is going out with, with a Milwaukee Makerspace driver, while our video videographer is now driving a Milwaukee Makerspace car. And it's official, all hands active, the Man Arbor is officially out, both cars. Catastrophe with Arbor. their Moxie Silly String attack. Looking for Moxie boats out there. Lee and Matilda, both out from all hands active, the Man Arbor. They're going to have to go with Moxie in order to get some points now. While well, everything's going around. And there's a couple cars now just slowly leaking out of the pit lane after that driver change. Looks like somebody wearing a mustache and a beard. I don't know who that is. But that's obviously a different driver. That's for sure. So many monsters. Timmy Mika then, it looks like they tried to exit the pit lane but then stalled about five feet from it. Iron Rails now starting to come back out. That looks like about a three minute uh, pit stop for them. That's not very good. We got 27, 28 minutes left in the racing here. 
Patrick, I'm here in the two Nico Van Pits. It is completely hectic. I'm trying to figure out what happened so far in the last 25 minutes. I don't know. He can go about 20 feet out of stint, has to jiggle wires, and then is going again for another 20 feet. Patrick, I'm here in the pits right now. Tell me what is happening. So, Tibby Mikuvan lost a super cheap, like, $5 plastic hand throttle, and of course, without that, you can't tell the car to go. So, we conveniently uh, sawed an identical one off of another silly vehicle in our pit, and speed soldered it on, and it's hot glued poorly and sort of working, maybe not really. No. I'm going to love this up a track of what really affected your car's performance again. Uh, not uh, hanging on the parking lot surface, but they're a little smoother back home, so... Yeah, one of the tough things about this parking lot is it's quite intense. Meanwhile, we have yet again another caution for Chini Miku Van. It is just not going together, but it, it is by no means the fault of their crew, which is working tirelessly to try to get their car going. One of the hallmarks of the Power Racing Series, ladies and gentlemen, is to fix your car as many times as you need to to complete the race, no matter what. Chibi Miku Van will finish this race somehow. Whether or not it's under its own power is up to the fortunes that the team has. But right now, as luck sways away from them, their efforts have not given up. Their iron wheel continues on, even though they've fallen down towards the standings, even after having a tremendous start in the race. But they can still get your moxie points, ladies and gentlemen. Please support your moxie for those teams out there who had some bad luck, because they are definitely putting the effort forth. But right now, towards the top of the order, we have Nimby Ferrari, followed by Phantom Power Racing, Car Catastrophe, and I3 Detroit. I want to remind everyone that we have some fantastic merchandise available to sell at the merchandise sets, t-shirts, stickers, posters, and more available at low prices. All of this brought to you by Make It Red. Make It Move. As I'm dousing myself with water from all the heat on the track, I have to admit, oh, oh that is a who did that one? Looks like it was, was it Fubar? It looks like Fubar living up to its name is going into the pits now. Unfortunate tire pop. That was a loud one. A lot of these tires are cheap lawnmower tires or layers off the wheelbarrow. They're not meant for racing and they blow. That's right. It would be too easy to have them use regular go-kart racing slicks. No, these engineers have to build a car around parts that weren't designed to handle it, and that's why you see the challenge for it. It is not easy to build a power racer to spec. You have to fight off quite a few engineering challenges, let alone a few racetrack challenges themselves. And, try, and remember to vote for Moxie because these teams are race all racing for your heart. The Moxie board is out there. Can I get the Moxie board lifted up high to see? Reese in the top hat, he's got the Moxie board somewhere. Where Reese. is that Moxie board? Reese? Where are you, Reese? We know it's out there. It's okay. always out there. I don't know where Reese is. Oh, he's over there? There he is. Reese! We're at the Moxie board. Where is he? I didn't see him. He's out over there by Nimby's pit lane. Nimby Reeds has to go out there and get some moxie votes from the crowd. <laughs> He's letting someone in the pit lane vote. He's making sure you can get everyone to vote. And meanwhile, it is pretty maddening in the pit. But I have to admit, there's quite a few cars still out there putting down laps. Ladies and gentlemen, out of our field of 17 cars, eight cars have completed over 100 laps right now. Eight cars, 100 laps completed. That is quite the achievement for a tiny electric go-karts made under $500. These cars are going for 75 minutes of endurance. I see now in the pit lane, it looks like some sort of battery issue. Oh man, fourth place I see. I don't know if that's a mandatory pit stop for them or a scheduled one at that. They look a little too confused for it to be a scheduled pit stop. There might be something wrong with your fourth place team. Meanwhile, Pass of the Future has managed to claw their way back to fifth place, while Atomic Chibi is also back to completing some more laps. As we're winding down here, we're about two-thirds of the way of this endurance race, ladies and gentlemen. 
and the field has finally thinned out. The attrition has set in. Fubar Labs from New Jersey is back out on the track. Fubar in 11th place right now. Yeah, driven by Milwaukee Makerspace's Audrey, Fubar Labs is really a one-person team, and everyone in the, in the pit.